and I want to talk about uh, a few things that are currently happening in our country. Kwanza kabisa, nataka kushukuru wa Kenya wote kwa kusimama imara katika hii vita ya kupambana na wanyanyasaji. We are dealing with a very oppressive government, a government that is very insensitive to the plight of Kenyans. But they, they applied a lot of oil on their mouth. Their mouth were very slippery on making promises. To metenga hii, to tatenga hii, to litenga hii, na watu wakaingia katika uh, hii trap yao. So you realize you are now suffering for something uh, you, you, you decided on, on your own. Ni wewe mengia kwa trap na sahi sasa unalea. Alafu Kenya kuna mambo, ala, mambo, mambo mbaya zinaendelea Kenya yenye we call very legal things that are happening in Kenya and the government is asleep. Indio mana sasa wakati nilifanya utafiti nime realize yule mtu wa Sakaola aliona sirikali ya Kenya iko usingizi mkubwa sana. Saa hii industrial area vijana nataka kuambia ile kitu inafanyika ambao vijana wapati kazi. Industrial area Kenya has the biggest industrial area in East Africa. But people who are employed in industrial area are not urban dwellers. Ni watu wameitwa ushago na my relatives. Urban dwellers who came to the city to look for job are not employed because wale watu wamepewa kandarasi na makampuni. Wameleta ma girlfriend na 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 wa mama zao na mandugu zao wakawacha the real urban dwellers who take part in electoral process. Saa hii hapa industrial area kuna watu wanafanya slave trade. Wa, mtu akijenga kampuni wanakuja wanasema Kwa hii kampuni, mimi ndio nitakuwa na leta wafanyikazi. So the company does not employ people directly. Lazima kuna cartel fulani unapita kwa mkono yake, ndi unapele kwa, kwa, kwa kampuni. Ndiyo mana watu wapati yata service. Wanabuga muna nipata. Unaenda kutafuta kazi, kuna muda liza chukua hizo slot zote. Kama ni watu miyamoja, amesa chukua hizo slot, sasa anauza kwa bae mzuri. Kama kampuni likuwa ikulipe 25,000, anambia kampuni nitakuletea vijana ya 15,000. Iyo pesa ya juni ya naku. The Ministry of Labor must look into this. Bwana Chelugui, wacha kunyonga tai kwa ofisi, unakaa uolge eko, na utoki hizi kuona plight of Kenyans. Toka inje tembea kwa kampuni, uliza kila kampuni, nyingi mumeziri watu wangapi, which who are permanent and personable. Wacha kukaa kwa ofisi, chende unakunya ndo mzima, morning paka subui, mkate inaisha kwa supermarket kwa jina ya CS na kula mkate. Wakenya wanaumia. That is idiotic. Kama we ni CS, toka inje. Demo ya pili atawo kusema. Bwana Moses Kuria, you are ashamed to our nation. You are a drawback to our nation. You are a curse to our nation. You are a vampire. Uwezi kaa kwa national television, a television, a television of class, kama Citizen TV, alafu unanza kusema the cost of edible oil, one liter is 100 shillings. That is lack of information, incompetency, and being an income poop. Someone who does not have full, a complete brain, a half-baked brain. Unafikiria kama nyoka. Unamia watangazaji, people who have gone to school, they have done research. Atibeya ya mafuta ni silingi miya moja. That is lack of head, you don't have a head. Iyo kitu yote kukwa mwese kuruwa ni shingo, hakuna kichwa hapo. Ni shingo kutoka chini mpaka juu, idiot. Unaenda kuambia Sam Gituku, someone who does his research properly, ati bei ya mafuta ni shilingi miya moja. Kido kidogo, wamesha tuma reporter na Ivers Eldorate, bedroom ya Ruto. You are giving Ruto a national shame because of being stupid. Bwana Ruto, wherever you are, kama utarudi Kenya, the first person to be relieved ni Moses Kuria. For us to have faith in this government, Moses Kuria must be relieved so that we see seriousness in this government. Atuwezi kat, tunabewa ujinga na watu wengine, upome ni wanakunya mpaka ata ulimi ya wezi ongea. Moses kura ya mekunya pome mpaka kiongea unafikiria na lea. Punguza pome buwana. You cannot be a national leader when unaoka na pombe, breakfast ni pombe, appetizer ni pombe, mpaka koti yako inanuka pombe, gasia. Jambo ya tatu, nataka kusema. We want to have honest, genuine political discourse in our country. Mimi sija kuja hapa kupendeza mutu. I am enemy of the people and I am a friend of the people. We want honest, genuine, practical political discourse. Uwezi tuambia, kama tumekuamini, tumesimama nyuma yako, which is very risky, that we want to go 
and take over state house na ongea baba kama tumesema tunaenda state house kutoa ruto baba wacha kupiga kona tuende state house straight unatuambia maandamano ni kutoa ruto state house mimi nikiamuka navaa magwanda yangu ya vita naenda state house nashuka baba ametoka madhari state house haiko madhari state house iko state house road ukitaka kwenda state house kutoka town mimi najua unachukua Kenyatta avenue unaenda juu kidogo branch ya kwenda milimani local tunawachana naye turn right state house road inaanzia hapo go straight upward utaona junction main gate iko hapo ya white mimi najua kama baba atapotea next time mimi utapata kama nimeuliwa state house and i don't care Waja ku waja kupiga kona kwenda kibira baba tafadhali nitako sana roho yangu ni kidogo baba kama tumesema tunaenda state house tuende wapi the last thing bwana speaker utaniruhusu kwa sababu roho yangu ni kidogo na nimekasirika jambo ya mwisho jambo ya mwisho we want politics of equality and straightforwardness babu wino ni kijana yetu ni kipenzi chetu ni roho yetu Babu ni maziwa yetu. Babu ni asali yetu. Babu ni ma marashi yetu. Babu wino, you must run for governor. Hata kama unasimama na chama cha tip tip ya kaleme ndile, you must be on the race. Na sio tafadhali, uwezi tuambia mimi I'm not a tribalistic man. But you cannot convince me that Sakaja will run for governor. Then you tell me Wanyonyi runs for governor. Then Sifuna runs for senator. Then another person runs for which, which post? We must have balanced race in Nairobi. Atuwezi toa watu ine kwa post the same Nairobi. Nairobi is cosmopolitan. Kama mtu mmoja ametoka north, ingine toke south, ingine toke central, ingine toke east, west. Babu governor. Sifuna maintain hapo. Naona ulimi yako imepakwa mafuta unaweza ongea mambo mingi. Shikilia hapo Senate. Wale watu kama wanyonyi go and run in Vihiga. You will still get it. Go and run in Vihiga. Sitasiu tafadhali. Come, no babu on the ballot. I will not vote the post of governor. I'm not a joker. I mean business. I'm out my friend. Iyo ni ukweli. Na siya tini mimi na tajipendekeza kwa babu. Babu has been so loud to ODM. Babu has, hakuna da siku babu wa mel, babu wa wezi ataka kwa choo ya UDA. Ha wezi ataka kujowa. Babu wa wezi, babu wa takipite karibu na UDA, ofisi ya UDA. Lazima ameze panadol. Anaheza gonjeka. So faithful, so loyal, so true to ODM. Bado wananyimwa vitu yote. Governor ya Nairobi 2027, mimi nikiwa high. Without babu, I will not take part in elections. Na watu walangata. Someone else enemy must not be your enemy. Kama jalangwa mekosea mutu, wala ate kukosea. Na jalangwa ni kijana. Baba ni baba ya watu wote. Kama jalangwa mefanya makosa, samehea, hata yule mwana mputevu walienda wakakula na ngurue ya kichoka, amerudi nyumbani. Kama jala mwana mfanya makosa baba, mimi naenda kuambia na ungana yeye, akuje, awame msamaa, asamehewe, andele na kazi. Kwa sababu kazi yake na yusio mbaya. Asandeni sana, mungu wa wabariki.